we want to determine the derivative of the given function. This one looks a little funny because we have f of x equals natural log of natural log 5x. So we do have a composite function, so we'll have to apply the chain rule. And the most important thing here is to identify the inner function and then let the inner function equal u so we can apply our derivative formula for the derivative of natural log u with respect to x, which includes the chain rule. So for this problem, u is going to be equal to natural log 5x. So now we can think of this function as natural log u. So let's write this out. We have u equals natural log 5x. So now we also know we're going to have to determine du dx or u prime. But to do this, notice that u is also a composite function. Since we've already used u, we could let this inner function of 5x equal v. And the derivative of natural log v would be 1 over v times v prime. So u prime is going to be 1 over 5x times 5, or 5 over 1. And notice how the 5 simplify out. So u prime is equal to 1 over x, or 1 divided by x. So now that we have u and u prime, we can determine the derivative of natural log u with respect to x. So f prime of x is going to be equal to 1 over u times u prime. So we'll have 1 over natural log 5x times u prime, and u prime is 1 over x. So our derivative function it's going to be equal to 1 divided by x times natural log 5x. So as you can see, this wasn't so bad after all, as long as we take our time, identify the inner function, determine the derivative of the inner function, and then apply the derivative formula for natural log u, which includes the chain rule.